Okay, good man. I don't understand rugby. I mean rugby. I understand rugby. Cricket. How does it work? Well, you've got your your um, crease here with two wickets, one either side. So you've got three stumps and the bales on top. And you've got two batsmen in, one there and one here. And then you'll have a bowler coming in from here. And then in order to score runs, the batsman has got to hit the ball and then run between the wickets. So you get a run if you run one, you get two runs if you run there and back. How far is it? 22 yards. Okay. And then if you get a boundary, if you hit the ball to the, to the fence, you get four runs. And if you hit it... That's like the... Like, like a baseball yeah. outfield? Yeah. Okay. And if you clear the fence or clear the boundary without bouncing, you get six runs. What's that called? A six. It's called a six? A That's six. not very creative. And then if the bowler hits the wickets, then the batsman's out. If the batsman hits it and gets caught, then he's out. If the uh, fielder gets the ball to hit the wicket, hit the stumps, before the batsman gets into the crease, uh -huh. there or there, that's what I've done those lines for, you get to get on those So he catches it in the air or on the ground? He's got to catch it without bouncing. Okay. What uh, if it bounces? If it bounces, then he, he's got to throw it back to the wickets, and if he hits those wickets or the stumps before the batsman is mm -hmm. in the crease, then he's run out. Um, you got 11 men each side, and when 10 people are out, because you've got to have two batsmen in at the same time, once 10 wickets are down, 10 men are out, then uh, that's the end of the innings. And then you switch. That's it? Yep. Well, that's easy.